Hello everyone, Colton Antonevich here with AW Lake, and today we're going to be going over the programming and setup of an RT30 transmitter. So to do that, I'm gonna use a few things like our power supply, the RT30 transmitter, the meter that it's going on, and the calibration sheet for that meter. So without further ado, we're gonna go right into the button pushing of the RT30. Once the unit is wired and powered up, you can remove the front plate in order to get access to the buttons. Now the first mistake most people make is holding enter on this main screen. This will bring you into a password protected menu and that is more for the factory, not for the user. So what you're going to want to do is navigate with the up and down buttons to the rate screen. On this screen, you can hold the enter button for about three to four seconds to enter programming mode. The rate and total scaling is going to be the first thing we're going to need to program. So we will hit yes. This is where you can enter the K factor for the unit. What this is doing is pairing the electronics to the meter. And we find this K factor on the calibration sheet I showed you earlier. The K factor for this meter is roughly 6,600. So using the select button to move over and the up and down buttons to enter in my value. And once I have the K factor entered, I will hit the enter button. On the next screen, you can select the units you want to measure in. It's defaulted to gallons per minute but I'm going to change it to cc's per minute. Now, you can also choose hours, days, or seconds for your time base. Once you've selected your units for rate, you're going to select your units for total. Again, I'm going to choose cc's and press enter to save. Now, if you're only using the display to read flow, you can hit the exit button to return to the main menu. For this video, I'm also going to show you how to do scaling of the 4 to 20 milliamp output. So I'm going to select yes here. It defaults to fixed output, and I'm going to go to rate as my source, and hit enter. In most cases, you're going to want your min flow of 20 milliamps to be zero. So I'm going to hit enter to move through that. Next, it's going to ask you for your max flow rate, which is going to be your 20 milliamp signal. You can choose the max flow rate of the meter, or what I prefer is the max flow rate of your process. This is going to give you better resolution. For example, the meter I have today can go up to seven gallons per minute, but if the process is only five gallons per minute, I'm going to put five GPM in this field. The next screen that comes up is the limits programming. This would be used if you want to set up a alarm or relay to activate at a specific value. So limit one, limit, and I'm gonna select total. So at 300 cc's, it would trigger my relay and cause something to happen. To get out of this menu, you use the up button, to select exit and then press enter. The gate time is a display filter that will slow the update speed of the display. Next is the linearizer. This can be used in order to scale the K factors to the specific flow rates. The information to enter in here would be also found on the calibration sheet. That takes us back to rate and total scaling. We'd be all done from here, and to get back to the reading screens, we just hit the exit button. So there you have it. It's that easy to set up the RT30. For more information, you can go to awlake.com and look up the manual for this product or you can always call us where any of our knowledgeable staff members will be able to help you out. I hope you have a great day. See you later.